Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, very happy to be here. Berlin is always fun uh, to join. I want to talk today uh, about SciSense, what we do, and how we simplify business analytics uh, for complex data. And we'll start with what? What is it uh, that we're doing? Uh, very simple. Simplifying business analytics for complex data. Data is becoming more and more complex. More and more data sources are out there. Uh, and the size of data increases continuously. You need to make it simple. You need to make sure that you are able to unleash the data heroes in every organization. Make sure that you use smart technologies uh, and that you are customer focused in order to truly democratize the data for everyone in your organization. If we think of the uh, BI analytics market uh, over the past 25, 30, 20 years, depending how you count it, uh, it all started with the, uh, uh, with the big dinosaurs, the ones that would take uh, very complex data. Uh, they would embed a team of, uh, I don't know, 10 uh, sales engineers in your environment, connect to all these huge databases, and at the end of a six months project, you will be able to provide reports on what's happening. At some probably one month to two month delay. Then about 10 years, seven years ago, a new category emerged, the category of a, uh, uh, companies that would basically, for lack of better other, uh, other words, uh, put Excel on steroids. So you get nice visualization. Uh, you don't mess around with too much data. You just want to get, say, the business users some data that will be useful. Where, where we come in is to take the best of both worlds. We are uh, enabling people to connect to as much data as they'd like, uh, billions of rows, terabytes of data, but make it seamless and, and simple as possible. Complexity is, is derived from uh, uh, three Vs, the volume of data, the variety of uh, data sources, and the velocity at which new data sources and more data are coming online. You want to make it super simple for the business user. Why? Why are we doing that? Well, a lot more data. We're talking about the data growing at a pace of about 50% year over year uh, for the years to come. And people are talking about getting 40 hexabytes uh, uh, of uh, data out there by 2020. There's no end to the new data sources that are coming online that are useful for your business. Take all of that. And think about the 20 year old assembly line that was created, where you get huge IT teams carrying on their back this heavy duty of putting the data warehouse in place, creating the schema, the joins, modeling. And whenever you have a new product, a new uh, uh, data coming online, you need to realign that data source and, and put it back online, spend another two months to edit the data warehouse, ETL the data, prep the data, cleanse the data, run the analytics. It's a bunch of suffering. Seriously, is this what we're still doing today? Are we putting lipstick on a pig? And are we believing that this is the way that technology should be going? Well, we have a better solution, a better way of doing that. How are we doing it? Well, if you, if you look at technology, the uh, invention of OLAP uh, and, and the early days uh, back uh, some 20 years ago was sort of the starting point. Then, as I said, the in-memory technology uh, was introduced by companies like Click uh, into the market, and that was all the rage a decade ago. People started using, uh, getting their models, flat files into memory and operating on it. That's no longer valid. That's no longer a, a viable option for the world of data today. What we've introduced to the market is the in-chip technology, where we take the performance on the data to the next level. We are able to uh, uh, give you the possibility to operate at a 10x to 100x performance boost with an analytics engine. And when we think about our, our disruption, and it is a disruption, and I'll show you the results shortly, but when we think of our disruption uh, in the market, wh what we have done is we created a single stack you no longer need to put in place a Tableau, a, a Teradata, and some other uh, peculiar ETL tool to be able to uh, perform the data. All you need is install Sysense on a laptop or on a server, and you run with it. At the heart of the system is the in-chip technology. It gives you 10x to 100x performance boost. And it's not us measuring that. I'm talking about companies like Intel that are checking the performance of their new CPUs and are wowed away 
where other applications get a 30% performance boost, and we give them 300% performance boost. But that's not enough. Innovation is key to disruption. And, and remember, all of it is done for the sake of the end user. And so we strongly believe that BI and data should be everywhere. Everyone should be able to use it. If today only about 20% of knowledge workers in a, in a business are using dashboards or reports, we are striving to give it to the 80% uh, of the users. That means that we connect the data now to the IoT, to Internet of Things. And you can connect your data to uh, a smart light bulb, like the Philips Hue or the LifeX light bulb, and your KPIs now change the lighting in the environment. And all of a sudden, the mood changes, the way people feel and interact with the data changes. We connect to the uh, uh, Amazon Echo, to the Alexa, and now, People are interacting with data uh, by talking to it. We were actually the first company in the world to introduce data into Alexa a year and some change ago. And now the Alexa is deployed with Sysense in boardrooms and in operations rooms where surgeons operate on, on patients and they asked data for the information about the patient uh, as they work uh, uh, in real time because they cannot use their hands anymore. We introduced chatbots where the millennials that uh, live and breathe and work on Slack uh, can now interact with data outside the realm of the two-dimensional dashboard. You can ask a question and immediately get uh, uh, an analysis, a natural language uh, generation explanation of your, uh, of your data. So what are the results? This is all great, great technology story, but how are we doing? Sysense, privately held company, been around for about a decade. We raised about $100 million to date from uh, a marquee names, VCs, uh, like uh, uh, Bessemer, DFJ, and Battery. Uh, we hail out of Tel Aviv uh, with HQ in Manhattan. Um, we're supporting over 4,000 organizations globally in 186 countries. We are highlighted by Gartner as a visionary in the field. And we are the ones that are reshaping the discussion. We are reshaping the discussion today in BI and analytics. Half our business is embedded analytics. That means that companies use Sysense in their products in order to bring analytics for the masses. We are 350 employees uh, deployed uh, across multiple uh, locations uh, uh, globally. And our revenue is the, in the many tens of millions of ARR. We're a SaaS company, subscription-based, and we're growing on average 100% year over year for six years in a row. That's a geometric uh, series of growth that we're presenting. We win because we remove IT uh, limitation, and we, we, we win because we give flexibility. And our own challenge to everyone out there you can get to a proof of concept in 90 minutes with Sysense. Go online, down the trial version, and you can get on your complex data from multiple sources, you can get a valuable dashboard and a valuable uh, uh, insight. Thank you very much.